whole week is only a couple of days in at Houston. Here's closing. Hi, I'm Chris Myers. We're in the middle of the action at Super Bowl Fan Festival Live here at Discovery Green, where the NFL and NASA have teamed up for a virtual trip to Mars. Riders travel to Mars and explore the red planet. The trip concludes with a thrilling 90-foot drop as they're transported back to Earth just in time for the game. Super Bowl 51, Sunday on Fox. World Headquarters in New York, I'm Shepard Smith. President Donald Trump is set to announce his nominee for the United States Supreme Court. A live look inside the East Room at the White House, where the president is scheduled to speak at any moment now. Two men have emerged as potential finalists for this job. They're both federal appeals court judges, Neil Gorsuch on the left here, and Thomas Hardiman on the right. Of course, the president could always surprise us with someone else. That's up to him, really. No matter, Democrats have vowed to push back against the president's pick, no matter who he or she turns out to be. Senate Major Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says he will fight tooth and nail against any nominee who visit mainstream, as he put it. President Trump has promised to select a conservative to fill the seat of the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Scalia called himself an originalist. In other words, he took the Constitution literally. And he did not treat it as a so-called living document. Since his death nearly a year ago, the court has been essentially tied four to four, with half the justices' appointments coming from Democratic presidents and the rest from Republicans. President Obama did nominate somebody to fill that empty seat, Judge Merrick Garland, but Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell refused to hold hearings for him, so the decision is all now up to President Trump. Worth noting, the president had originally scheduled this announcement.